Really great seeing my next guest uh, fighting again. He's going to be taking uh, on Olawale Bambo's Maverick MMA 19, May 21st, this Saturday. It's so good to see him back. It's Stephen Regman joining me here on the program. Stephen, how are you? I'm feeling great. You know, I'm outside, you know, nice weather. It's a little rainy, but, you know, can't complain. Yeah, it's uh, nice to get you in your element here on in, on your porch and everything, which is awesome. Um, let's start first with this fight. How did this all come together with you fighting for Maverick? I was supposed to fight for them, I want to say maybe a month, two months ago. Um, it was more of like short notice, like the whole car is a little short notice. So, you know, that that, that car kind of got dropped. And then coming up for this one, they reached out and asked if I wanted to to fight. And I'm like, yeah, of course. Um I've been seeing a lot of my friends going there in different organizations, fighting, having fun. Um, and I, I just had to get back in there. That's the main thing. And, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I looked on Tapology. You haven't fought since August of 2019. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. So I know we had the pandemic. I know that sort of really halted a lot of the regional MMA. But why haven't we seen you in so long? Uh, well, one, the pandemic. Also, I was trying to basically get more money so I can afford a house, you know, do adulting. <laughs> basically yeah. um so i was focusing more on work um training other guys at work um and training to get back into the cage or the ring or what you know whatever element um and thankfully this finally came up so it all worked out what, what do you do for work you kind of mentioned it there do you are you a coach or what, what do you do for what's uh, paying the bills for i you? work for pest control company oh, like cool. pest control that's awesome and it's your own business or do you work for someone oh no i work for the the company is a uh, viking viking pest control very cool. And that's good. And I bet people pay you on time when you tell them you're a professional fighter. Uh, I try to keep it on, uh, on the hush, but you know, every now and then I have some customers who have seen me on the regional circuit in Atlantic city or have seen me on the contender series or something. Um, and you know, it is pretty interesting, you know, when they're like, Oh my God, like I've seen you fight. I'm like, Oh, where, <laughs> you know, but it's, it's, it's good. I see some interesting stuff on that job. Tell me how excited you were not only headlining this card, but you're fighting a UFC vet in Olawale Bambos. You must have been pretty excited about that. I am very excited. Um, Bambos has fought uh, a bunch of guys. I remember him back in Ring of Combat. Um, and I've always liked his fighting style. His fighting style is a little unorthodox, but that's mixed martial arts. You know, people putting these guys, their fight styles, you know, it gets them wins, whatever works for them. And I'm looking to to showcase my own skill set against his. Were you surprised to get this fight in the sense that he hasn't fought in a really long time? The last time he was in the cage was for the UFC. I didn't necessarily think of whether or not um, it should be him or somebody else or, you know, how long his layoff has been. But I, I know that he has, I'm pretty sure he has his own gym. So he, he coaches and does a lot of stuff. So I figured that he was constantly in the gym, um, training, doing other stuff. Um, so I wasn't necessarily surprised. Um, I didn't hear about retirement. A lot of times you have guys physically say that they're retiring this and that. Um, some people might have to, I retired cause I haven't fought in a while, but you know, Oh, understandable. I just think like, you know, kind of when you look at the at the gap there, like, a, you know, a year or two, that's fine. But I mean, we're talking December yeah. 2017 was the last time he competed. That's and right. kind of on that note, just quickly, do you think that will play a role in the fight? I mean, it's one thing to train in the gym, but to actually go out there and fight, do you think that'll be a factor? For me, I don't believe so. Um, mm -hmm. I've always competed in different sports, one-on-one uh, -on -one sports since I was younger, about 12, 13, 14. Um, so I know that getting back into competition um, is something that I've always loved to do and why that makes some good money while we do it. Um, so I'm actually excited to get back in there. I feel like my young self going into tournaments, like, okay, you know, I'm going to see some good fighters. I'm going to test my skills out and, you know, see who's the better fighter. Where are you training right now for people who don't know and who have been some of your main training partners leading into this main event? Um, my, my main training gym is in Woodbridge, New Jersey, driven, um, driven gym, um, training partners. I have a couple, uh, I'm going to basically thank those guys after the fight. I don't want to, you know, give away the sauce too early. Um, okay. but I have a lot of different, um, training partners between like wrestlers, boxers, kickboxers, Muay Thai guys, all BJJ guys, all kinds of different looks that I can get different styles, um, that I can, you know, train and use my own style against. 
And, and, you know, by the sounds of it, because, uh, you know, it's not like we're talking about one of like the big notable MMA gyms, like probably a lot of up and comers too. like how how crucial is having those guys in the gym because they're looking to prove themselves, uh, you know, and make and you're going to get that extra push, right? Yo, I, get, I am going to get that extra push. Um, yes, those guys are hungry, trying to, you know, make a name for themselves. And they also want to learn, you know, a lot of these guys coming up you know, through the fight game, they have different styles, newer styles. You see, you see, you know, a lot of younger kids destroying people now because they can do things. They, you know, new techniques have come out, new, new styles, thigh kicks, um, elbows, all kinds of stuff. And, you know, they really open up their mind. Um, and I actually like training with them also because it, it, allows me to see things that I, you know, personally probably have never seen or I looked past. So, yeah. you know, it definitely brings me, you know, that hunger back, just like they had that hunger. And we're getting you on fight week. Like I mentioned, how's the weight cut going uh, ahead of the match weight, on Saturday? Weight cut's going great. Weight cut's going great. I feel great. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can't I say much. Say, other you, it's going listen, great. Well, I was going to say, you seem like you're in a good mood. If you're having a bad weight cut, it'd probably be a different interview today, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Like, hey, yeah. Let's wrap this up, man. You know, so. It, <laughs> no, it's, I'm it's having a great time. I know you feel like you're going to get your hand raised on Saturday. Otherwise, why sign the contract? But how do you envision the fight playing out? Um, I plan on just going out there and having fun. A lot of times I go out there thinking about what the other person's going to do. And it really stifens what I want to do. You know, um, you do want to have a game plan going in, which I do. Um, but I, I really want to do what I want to do and do what I love to do, you know, best. And, you know, I've been thinking back on why I've been fighting differently, um, you know, throughout the years. Um, now I've been looking back on some of my old amateur fights. And I'm like, why was I such, you know, and a savage or why was I going after people knockouts left and right. And, you know, it's, it was just a different mindset, you know? So thankfully, you know, I'm back in that mindset and, you know, we, we get it done this weekend. Um, what are some of your short-term goals right now in MMA? You talked about, you know, having the layoff, having to pay down the house and all that. Um, what, what are you hoping to accomplish the rest of the year? Not looking past Saturday, of course. Not looking past Saturday for the rest of the year. We are, what are we in I'm sorry. With all the different days, I said we're in April now. Well, May. Sorry. May, May. We're in May. Yeah. Uh, almost yeah, June. It's, hey, listen, it's all good. I'm, I'm the calendar guy. You don't need to worry about it. It's all good. I'll, <laughs> okay, I'll handle Thank that. you very much. Yeah. Um, for the rest of the year, I would love to fight again, um, possibly two more times throughout the year. Um, I'm going to make a decision if I'm staying at 85 or going down to 70. Um, regardless, I'm going to have fun doing it. Um, but I just want to have fun, get back in there, you know, fight good competition and make good money doing it. Yeah, it's as simple as that. And I guess, it's you know, again, keep, keep, keep racking up the uh, keep racking up the wins. And then I'm, I'm sure, you know, th there is still that goal of getting in the UFC, I'm sure. Because, again, I think people got to look at your yeah, they might look at your record. Maybe they don't look at the level of opposition you're fighting. You're fighting some really tough guys on the regional scene, right? A hundred percent. Yeah. And, and, yeah, uh, and you, um, the, the goal, obviously, you know, there's UFC, um, one FC, Bellator, Eagle FC. There's all kinds of events now where you have all kinds of competition from you got UFC guys going to go into Eagle. You got guys going to Bellator. So the competition is, is, you know, spread out, obviously UFC, you know, with the exposure, I would love to be there fighting for them. Um, you know, but you know, whoever, whoever wants to sign these contracts and, you know, cash these hands, you know, can get any, any organization. So I'm going to start by this weekend, um, this Saturday, get that belt, get my hand raised, uh, go home back to work on Monday and, you know, talk to my coaches and see what's next. Talked all about fighting in this interview. What are some of your hobbies outside of fighting? I don't know if you watch any other sports or video game guy or watching Netflix. What would you like doing when you get that little bit of downtime? Um, I like watching TV movies, okay. documentaries. Um, a lot of interesting things come up. Discovery ID usually stays on religiously <laughs> in my house. Nice. So there's all kinds of crazy stories that come out of that. Yeah. Um, I like biking a lot. Um, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I logged on to your, your discovery account or whatever, and I saw what you were watching, uh, what, what's, what's the latest thing you've watched? Anything good you've seen recently? Uh, see, I saved the tough questions for last. Yeah. Um, I've been watching a lot of, not just on discovery ID, um, anime, 
You know, I've, okay. I've constantly been watching. I like Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, there's one on Netflix called Scissor 7 um, that I've actually been paying attention to. I'm also waiting for this Friday, actually tomorrow, um, Netflix drops season three of a, a show called Love, Death, and Robots that I'm actually, you know, interested to to check out. Um, but usually I'm, I'm, I'm typically like either anime comedy guy or discovery ID. Um, but it's, there's, I can't remember all the shows just cause I scroll through, you know, different no shows. I'm like, oh, no, your job this to know. You're just supposed to watch them, right? I'm the one who's asking exactly the watch them and have fun watching them. <laughs> and speaking of watching them, Maverick MMA 19. If you live in the area, first off, you got to go. I mean, regional MMA is the best. And second, if you can't, Watch it from home on Spectation Sports. That's where you can check out the fight, spectation.com. Uh, Steven, it was great talking to you, man. Uh, just to remind people where they can get a hold of you on social media. And if you got any sponsors or shout outs, I'll give you the last word. Social media on Facebook, you can just look up my name, Steven, S T E P H E N, Regman, R E G M A N. On um, It's also Steven underscore Regman on Twitter. Um, Instagram, Predator MMA, P R E D A T O R MMA. Um, and then, you know, from there, you know, I want to thank my, I want to thank my coaches, James Meals. I want to thank my, thank my, uh, managers over at Sucker Punch. Um, once again, I'll thank all my other training partners, you know, after, you know, I don't want to give away too much, but you know, is it a lot of people went into me getting back into the fighting spirits, getting back to, into the cage and competing again. And, you know, I'm, I'll definitely be thanking them after this fight.